What's up folks? So many of you know that a while back I got into archery and since then I've shot a number of targets and learned a lot about them. So I wanted to just quickly talk to you about kind of my experiences and which ones I found to be the best. So I've shot some foam targets, bad bag targets, all kinds of different ones. Um, probably the longest running one I shot was this black hole target. So it's basically just lit thin layers of foam that are all stacked up on top of each other and then they have two pieces of plywood on top and bottom and then it's squished down by this wrap and this is just a polyurethane like a tarp style material. Uh, I shot this one for a long time. Uh, I, I like this target in that the black on or the white on black was really easy to see. It was a pretty good size target. I like that you could shoot broadheads and field points. Now I didn't shoot a lot of broadheads at this thing but I really like getting my bow all tuned, sighted in, you know, I practice with field points, but then, you know, my last practice session or two before I actually go hunting, I use broadheads just to make sure I'm locked on and deadly with those. I don't want to shoot a ton at my target because I don't want to tear my target up unnecessarily and I don't want to dull my broadheads. Uh, I like that you could do that with this versus a bag style target, which bag style targets are great, but you can't shoot broadheads at them. If you do, you'll have a hell of a time trying to cut that broadhead out, especially expandables. Don't do it. So I like this for a while, but after using this for about six or seven months, it started getting torn up significantly. So from the front, you can't really tell. You can probably see some little ridges on here, but from the back, you can just see the guts are flying out of this thing. So again, I didn't shoot that many broadheads at it, probably less than 10 total. Um, but this is mostly just from shooting it with field points. So it was a good target, but just the life was not that great. Uh, what I did really appreciate about this black hole target is that it's incredibly light. This thing weighs, I don't know, probably just a couple pounds. So it was really easy to just throw in the back of the truck, tape, take on a camping trip, take wherever carry it in with me if I wanted to practice in the woods, easy target to bring along. So that's one of the reasons why I got it, but I'm starting to wear it out. It's not completely done, it's still good for long range, uh, but not going to do too well with a fast bow up close. And that kind of brings me to my preferred target. So this is the Reinhardt 18 sided foam target. So the 18 sided thing. I think that's kind of goofy. Yeah, sure, you can shoot all of these different sides and positions. I don't think most people really care about that, aside from the fact that if you wore one spot out, you've got another spot that you can shoot at. Um, you can shoot at a small or a small target or a big target. But in terms of 18 sides, that's not necessarily a benefit. This thing has been incredibly durable. It's a self-healing foam. So basically when you shoot it, it just kind of sucks back in and closes up. And you can barely see these little marks where I've shot it. You can shoot this with broadheads, you can shoot it with field points, you can shoot it with crossbows. It's been incredibly durable. I like that it's got just a, a rope that's pretty much co-molded inside the foam. So it makes it easy to carry. And I put a carabiner on this little rope handle. So I can actually just clip this into the little eye ring in the bed of my truck so it's not going to roll around. Because um, that is kind of a downside. Being this round like soccer ball style design, it does have a tendency to roll. So if you're not on a level surface or if you just want to toss it in the back of your truck, you better strap it down because it's going to roll around. I found just using a little carabiner and clipping it on just a branch or a stake or something like that will stop it from rolling. But usually that's not an issue if you're shooting in a flat spot. Um, it's, it's just held up really well. I like that the paint on here, it just kind of looks yellow on camera, but especially in low light, this is a high visibility paint that's just easier to see at distance. Now if you're shooting with a green or yellow pen, it's a little bit hard to make out the difference between the green yellow pen and this. So you've got to really focus with a red pen, easy, easy to differentiate. Um, but that, that's not to say it's not usable with a green or yellow pen. It's totally usable. Just something that, that you'll notice contrast wise. 
So Reinhardt is definitely most known for their 3D style competition targets. Um, they're well known in, in 3D circuits for their you know large large game size targets, um, and they they sponsor a bunch of tournaments and stuff like that. So this is the same material that Reinhardt foam, but in a smaller, more compact target. Now price on this guy is definitely one of the downsides of this. It's an expensive target, like well over a hundred bucks sometimes. I got it for, I think it was like 104 at Academy, which was the cheapest place I could find it. A lot of online places had it for the same price, but you gotta pay shipping. And this thing isn't necessarily small or light. It's not huge, but I'd rather not pay to ship it. Um, Cabela's and Bass Pro and a lot of those other stores sell this for up to like 130. I wasn't really willing to pay that much, um, but I paid 100 for it. That's pretty expensive for a target, in my opinion. But if it lasts, you know, twice the life of something like this, then it's well worth it. You have one target that just lasts and does everything you need it to, versus using a target up and having to go buy another one. Now. I've shot with the bag style targets. If you're not willing to spend a hundred bucks or hundred bucks plus on a target, the bag style targets are a good option. They just get really heavy because they're full of that basically shredded polyurethane, so it's really dense. They get heavy, they're a pain to carry around. Definitely don't leave them sitting out in the rain because they fill up with water and that just makes them even even heavier and it just seems like that water never, never quite gets out of there. Um, and as I said before, you also can't shoot them with broadheads. You can only shoot them with field points. So this is a broadhead target. This is also a broadhead target, which I, th I think it's good just to make sure your broadheads line up with where you're hitting with your field points. Uh, probably the cheapest, crappiest target I bought, I was going on a camping trip and I had my bow and I wasn't sure if I was gonna shoot archery or not. And then I kind of realized on the camping trip, well, I did have an opportunity to sling some arrows, just kind of practice a bit but didn't have a target with me. So on the way out there, I actually went by Walmart and picked up just a, I think it was like a 20 inch square, basically just a piece of styrofoam with plastic wrapped around it. I was like, well, it probably won't last that long. It'll probably just get me through the weekend, you know, shoot some couple, a couple arrows at it, then it'll give out. But after shooting that thing, I drew back, sighted in, my first arrow went straight through it. That thing was a piece of junk, so, I got it because I was like, well, I'm in a pinch, it's such a deal, it was a complete waste of money. I mean, it was only like $12, something like that, but still, just don't even go there. It's a complete waste of money. Um, so that's just kind of a lineup of, of some of the targets I've used, what I like. So I would say, if you can afford to get something like this, do it. It's absolutely worth it to get one of these Reinhardt phone targets. Um, or something similar. There may be competitive offerings that are similar, but this is the best foam that I've found. This, it's just dense. Um, these are okay, but I would almost say just buy a bag target till you can afford to get something like this. So, hope you learned something. Hope you found that interesting. If you have questions about archery targets, just go ahead and type them below. Until next time, stay safe, be free, and never stop seeking adventure.